And authorities in Denver now partially closing two parks over crime concerns. Sky Fox flying over them today. La Alma Park near 13th and Osage and Sunny Lawson near California and Park. Tonight, Fox 31's Greg Nieto looking into the issues. He joins us live here new at 9. Greg. Yeah, Jeremy, the uh, city actually cites the closure of a Civic Center Park at one point as a success story with what they're doing now. They closed the park at one point, reopened it to much clearer results. You know, go somewhere else. At 11th and Osage, Jamie and Deborah have a front row seat of La Alma Lincoln Park. In the summertime, I watch the kids go swimming. They never thought they'd be talking about the summertime show temporarily closing. They did it at night. The neighbors say they went to bed a few nights back, and when they woke up, they saw a sea of silver. A lot of it is closed up because of the homeless, and the drug use around here is terrible. To be clear, though, parts of the park do remain open to recreation <laughs> and snack time. <laughs> Meantime, across town in Five Points. Thank you, baby. A similar scene for Jonna, a mother of two. Can you not be that high up there? With Sunny Lawson Park also temporarily closed, her oasis remains the still open playground and dog park. I get it. I understand. It sucks that it has to be like that. But then again, I would rather it be safe for me and my kids to come out and play without having to worry about somebody random coming up and talking to my kid. The city cites at least three reasons for the temporary closures an increase in drug sales, violent incidents, and vandalism. The ball fields at both parks, though, will still be utilized for ball games. Meantime, Jamie and Deborah <laughs> hope for many more endless days of summer with a park rebirth on the horizon. Uh, wondering how it's going to be when they do open those gates again. And that will not be for at least another 30 days. Greg Gantel, Fox 31.